Hi, I'm Robert Tisserand. This is the first of five lessons in my mini course, How Essential Laws Work in the Body. Today I want to talk about bioavailability. Whether we're talking about a drug, a herb, an essential oil or anything else, getting a substance into the body is one thing. Making it available for the organism to work with is another. The word bioavailability means how much of a substance gets into the bloodstream and can then potentially reach the target tissue, the areas of the body we want it to reach. Here I'm comparing the percentage of essential oil that reaches the bloodstream from four different modes of application, intravenous, oral, inhalation and topical. With intravenous, by definition, all of the essential oil reaches the bloodstream 100%. However, this method is not used in Europe, it's not used in the USA, it's not approved by any medical profession uh, in the world. There's no research on its safety, there's no research on its efficacy, and I'm certainly not recommending that you try this at home. I'm, using, I'm simply including it here for illustration purposes. With oral ingestion, about 95% of essential oil constituents are absorbed into the blood. However, there are safety issues with oral ingestion. For example, the impact on the stomach and the liver is much more sudden from oral ingestion than it is from topical or inhalation. My recommendation is that if you're taking essential oils orally for therapeutic purposes, in other words, to treat a condition, that you only do this under the guidance of a practitioner. With inhalation, an average of 50% essential oil is absorbed into the blood from what we inhale. For example, if you put 10 drops of essential oil into a room diffuser, turn it on, and leave it on for a few hours, that does not mean that five drops of essential oil are going to get into your body because you're only going to absorb from what you inhale, not from, not from what's in the whole room. So for more direct inhalation, you might want to use a personal inhaler or steam inhalation. With topical application of diluted essential oils, around 5% of the essential oil um, applied to the skin is absorbed uh, transdermally and into the blood. And I know this may seem like a very small amount, but there's lots of science uh, behind this, and we know that it is up to 10%, usually around 5% of the essential oil applied. So here's a graphic just showing these different percentages and you might think looking at that well topical doesn't look like it does anything at all, inhalation's pretty good, uh, we're not going to do intravenous but why not just do oral for almost everything? Well there are lots of reasons why. Um, for example if you have a skin condition why would you take essential oils orally? It doesn't make any sense. Um, and so the reasons for these different methods is something I'm going to go over in the next lesson. 